Commander. We've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least 100 meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is 20. 20 meters? No way we can make a drop in there. We have to try. Find another landing zone! There is no other landing zone! The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Joker? I can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker, drop us right on top of that bastard. Before Saren finds the conduit. There's no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found some way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We'll have to find some way to get it up and running again.
This place still has power. It must be running off its own generator. I bet this is the command center for the entire complex. Terrence troops must have sealed the doors from here after he went inside. We'll have to figure out how to disengage the security lockdown if we ever want to get inside that box. Saren's already got a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Unless he's already found it, then we're just walking into a trap. That's a chance we'll have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. Too late. Unable to... Invading fleets. No escape. Sounds like some kind of message. But I don't recognize the language. It's probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we can't understand it. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Incredible. The Cypher must have transferred an understanding of the Prothean language into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fought Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. It cannot be stopped. It cannot be stopped.
proteins probably try to keep themselves alive with the cryogenic freezer. Something like that. It's a trap! Saren must have set an ambush! I don't think Saren's behind this. What do you think we're gonna find down here? It has to be useful. Specifically targeted us. Don't get your hopes up. The only thing we can depend on right now is ourselves. You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you, unlike the other that passed recently. Perhaps there is still hope. Wait a minute. How come I can understand you? Why aren't you speaking the Prothean language? I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment. But that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system, with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan, Chief Overseer of the Ilos Research Facility. Saren could be at the conduit right now. We have to go. You seek to end a cycle that has continued for millions of years. To stop it, you must first understand it, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay, one that links to dark space the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel Relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. The Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack! That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel, and through it, the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. Some of you must have managed to survive. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power, and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control, taken in as refugees by other Protheans. They betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. What do the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? The Reapers are alien, unknowable. 
Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. In the end, what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them, not in understanding them. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay, one that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. Conduit's not a weapon, it's a backdoor onto the Citadel. What happened next? We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. You should have fought. We were a few hundred against a galactic invasion fleet. Our only hope was to remain undetected. I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? He couldn't let everyone die. Better to sacrifice some so others could live. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. Aren't they under the influence of the Reapers? The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Saren can use the conduit to bypass all the Citadel's external defenses. Correct. And once inside, he can transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle of extinction will begin again. I'll take Sovereign down. Somehow. There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait. Where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit, Follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. as we were. They failed. 
keep it moving. I've got no intention of being up like them. It's incredible! We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay, and these Geth aren't gonna make it easy on us.
all monitored systems. Please begin emergency evacuation. across the entire level. All non-emergency personnel must evacuate immediately. Give me a rundown of the damage. We have lost all primary power to the level. Environmental controls are not responding. Class 3 fires are burning in sectors 2, 3, 6, and 7. Civilian casualties are high. I am also detecting numerous unauthorized synthetic life forms throughout the station. They are believed to be hostile. Please approach with caution. Come on! We need to stop Saren before it's too late! Please begin emergency evacuation procedures. This is not a drill. Critical failures detected across all modern systems.
All targets down. of all systems. Quick, open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down. See if you can open a communications channel. someone else? We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Endura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. You'd sacrifice human lives to save the Council? What have they ever done for your kind? This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign's a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. That's why you can't throw away reinforcements trying to save the Council. Hold them back until the Citadel arms open up and the human fleet can go after Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension, or hold back? Hold off, Joker. We're not sacrificing human lives to save the Council. Keep our ships back until they can get a shot at Sovereign. I hope you know what you're doing, human. Don't let the Council die in vain. All Alliance ships, all formation. Wait for a shot at Sovereign. Nothing else matters. I repeat, nothing else matters. Commander, we're picking up reinforcements. It's the Alliance. Open a comm 
channel. This is the Ascension. We're taking heavy damage. Guardian defenses are over... Kinetic barriers are offline. Commander, they closed the channel. Make sure he's dead. down no matter what the cost.
over. You're safe now. Where's the commander? We got your message, Ambassador. What's all this about? These are strange times, Captain. The battle with Sovereign changed everything, and we need to talk about what happened to the Council. Commander Shepard did the right thing. We had to hold our fleet back to go after Sovereign. It was the only way. I agree, but this also presents us with an opportunity. The Council is dead. The galaxy is looking for leadership. The Citadel fleets were decimated in the attack. The losses have made the Alliance stronger. If we step forward now, nobody will be able to stop us. The Council was always holding us back. When I saw the opportunity to get rid of them, I took it. Good God, Shepard. How can you even say that? Don't act so surprised, Captain. We all know it's true. Sacrificing the Council assured our victory over Sovereign. The end justified the means. We humans understand that. It's what makes us stronger than the others. What are you saying? The galaxy needs leadership. Real leadership. When a crisis hits, we can't be paralyzed by debate like the old council. The new council must rule with a single voice. It must be assembled from one species alone. Humanity. The rest of the galaxy isn't just going to bow down because we tell them to. We'll need the fleets to bring them in line. The other species are scared. They've never faced anything like this before. They don't know what to do. They want us to step forward. They believe in humanity because of you. Your ruthless pursuit of Saren and the Geth, your defiance of the Council, that's what humans are capable of. That's how we can defeat the Reapers. The others will follow us, Shepard. They know we're their only hope. We will have a human Council with a human chairman. The Ambassador's right. I may not like it, but we can't deny the truth. Given everything you've done, Commander, the Alliance will want to know who you think our Chairman should be. We need someone who understands how politics really works. You've shown you know how to play this game. He is the logical choice. So what happens now? You two can argue politics all you want, but the Reapers are still out there. They are coming and I'm going to find some way to stop them. Shepard's right. We're headed for war with the Reapers. If we lose, it's the end of all life as we know it. And no other species in the galaxy truly understands what it will take to survive. The other races will have to follow our lead. We need to take control. It's time for humanity to rise up and seize its destiny.
Thank you.